Welcome back everybody. Today I'm doing just a short video and uh, it's about oiling wood. Many of you are, uh, will remember this. You see me paddle this paddle all the time. Uh, this is a uh, handcrafted paddle and it requires oiling and I'm going to oil it today. It's due for another oiling as I've used it quite a bit over uh, the summer so far this season but I got something new and that's this paddle right here so this here is uh, my paddle by uh, Naturally Naked Paddle Company and Gord the maker has uh, made me another paddle so I went and seen Gord and paid him a visit because he's a super nice guy and picked up a fresh paddle for myself while I was there uh, visiting with the guy. And this is it. And Gord handcrafted this paddle for me. And when I picked it up, it had not been oiled yet. And Gord was waiting for me to get over there and uh, he was going to oil it and I asked him, I said, no, no, don't oil it. I'll oil it myself and I'll do a little quick video about it to show my viewers uh, how beautiful a piece of wood gets transformed once it gets a finish. Whether it's lacquer or a varnish or whatever, what have you. But in, these, in the case of these paddles, these paddles are oiled. And uh, Gord the maker of these paddles also formulates his own oil and this is an all-natural oil so I'm gonna do this paddle very first oiling and we're gonna have a closer look and we're gonna see how this paddle is gonna change with the oil I am excited to share with you how beautiful this is gonna come out because when you see it bare like this it looks very different and once you apply a finish now this paddle just for uh, to keep you up to speed is uh, the same material as this one which is black walnut so this paddle here has been oiled and as you can see all right it's nice and dark and it already has developed a patina just from the oils my natural oils from my skin as I paddle in this direction like this this is how I usually paddle and I'm done oiling the shaft of this paddle the the shaft I'll still oil it but not very often the blade is what I'm mostly touching up with uh, the oiling and what I have done which is what uh, Gord has recommended is to use a rag and then after you've oiled it multiple times your rag is oil soaked so I simply take my rag and give it a, a little rubbing like that you see the sheen on that so this paddle is not very old so it's still absorbing a lot of the oil but the new paddle and I want to show you guys this look down there so uh, Gord has teamed up with a uh, local artist in his area local to his area which is uh, Peterborough Ontario and uh, this is a lady that does uh, burning so he burnt my name right on the blade so that's a nice little personalized touch right there now this paddle here is black walnut and it's I think it's going to turn out quite interesting because all those black walnut look at the the streak of blonde that's in that wood and then right over here we got some feathering going on and I'm really eager to see what that's going to come out once the oil is applied to this paddle let's see how it looks on the other camera all right so let's get happening I'm gonna move the camera I'm gonna point you guys down and we're gonna drop oil on it 
and we'll see what it looks like. How it's going to turn out. Let's get it happening. Right everyone, here's my rag. So I'm not gonna use the rag on the new paddle because it is a fresh paddle, never been touched. And I'm gonna go generous with the oil. So I'm just gonna wear gloves because I'm gonna massage the oil in it. And since I got the rag out, let's give her a good strong rubbing on the old paddle, the new old paddle, because this paddle is no nowhere near being old. This is my first season with it. But I love Gord's paddle so much that I got another one. Look at that. All right. Now, let's see what's going to happen. Are we ready? Are we in frame? Oh yeah. And there's the transformation going on. That's darkening up quite nice. And that blonde area is turning more of a, a gold. Oh, I love how it turned the tip here. There's a lot of different colors going on on that tip right here. Very nice. Now, like I said, I'm going to be extra generous because this is the very first oiling. So this wood is going to absorb this oil quite a bit. Oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that scalloping going on here. Oh, there's a beautiful streak. And then you got some almost like flames coming out of that grain right there, or feathers. It's quite a beautiful pattern. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's do the other side. So there's the untouched side. We'll see if this stripe here transfers. Oh, I think it will. Look, it's right there. Let's look at this stripe right here get transformed. Oh yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? A handcrafted paddle like this puts a little bit of pride into every stroke, I tell you. Okay, let's continue down the shaft. The big thing with Gord and his design, look at the handle, the grip on that. The comfort of this is unbelievable. Okay, let's see what this looks like because we got some coloration right here. So let's see what happens here. And the old wool blanket, well, that's what the blanket is for, is because it's just an old blanket and it's for doing projects, not something I sleep with. 
these old wool military blankets are good to use as throwaway kind of things. Oh yeah, and a little bit more. I can feel it that it's uh, it's already taking the oil. Well, that's it, everybody. Just a quick, uh, short video. I'm not gonna take too much of your time, and uh, just thought I'd share this oiling and uh, this beauty of a paddle. Of course, if should you be interested in getting a beautiful handcrafted paddle, uh, links will be down below where you can get a hold of Gord. He has an Instagram and a website, of course, and uh, you can go see him, tell him I sent you, perhaps. And you too can have yourself beautiful paddles. All right, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you on the next one.